Hello, welcome to Vedil Vagaparai. In this video, we see a reaction of Rignard reagent. This question is taken from IET JAM 2024 question paper. So, the question is the compound or compounds which are on reaction with methyl magnesium bromide followed by treatment with aqueous ammonium chloride would produce 1 methyl 1 phenyl ethanol as the major product is R. So, in this particular question, uh, they have uh, given this options as the starting materials uh, are given in the options and they are asking us to find which among these could be a suitable starting material to form 1 methyl 1 phenyl ethanol. This is not the right nomenclature of this particular compound. Uh, we will see the correct nomenclature in the next few slides. So, I have put the question again. So, uh, the Rignard reagent is methyl magnesium bromide. So, they have asked for the starting material. So, this list of starting materials are given here. So, in these lists, we know that this is benzoic acid. So, this is an ester, methyl ester of benzoic acid. So, that is why it is called as methyl benzoate. And in this, in the second case, uh, you must uh, see carefully, this is acetic acid. So, the, there is a phenyl group in place of hydrogen. So, that is why this is called as phenyl acetate and then uh, this is uh, acetaldehyde and this is acetophenone. This is a ketone. So, there are two ester molecules that are given one aldehyde and a ketone. So, let uh, and in the product uh, that is listed out the product is written as 1 methyl 1 phenyl ethanol. So, this is a tertiary alcohol. But the actual IUPAC nomenclature of this particular alcohol is 2 phenyl propane to all. So, how is this tertiary alcohol obtained, or which are these, which of these could be the starting materials for the formation of this product? That is what is asked in this particular question. So, before we go in to answer this question, there are certain things that we have to keep in mind. Um, we all could uh, remember that aldehydes will give. Uh, predominantly secondary alcohols and ketones will give tertiary alcohol, formaldehyde will give primary alcohol. These are some things which we already know and esters will give ketones. So, now we would want, we would like to know which among these will be the suitable starting materials for this desired product. So, let us see the uh, importance of ammonium chloride and uh, the reaction mechanism of esters before we go into solving this particular question. So, as I told you, uh, when we are talking about uh, esters, uh, esters react with two molecules of Rignard reagent to form a tertiary alcohol. So, this is a tertiary alcohol and uh, uh, the ester can uh, react and form a ketone first and the ketone will react with another molecule of Rignard reagent to form the uh, tertiary alcohol. So, it is a two-step reaction. So, what is to be kept in mind is uh, in case of an ester, uh, the alkoxy group uh, will uh, leave in the first step and uh, in the second step, the ketone that is formed reacts with the second molecule of uh, Rignard reagent to form the tertiary alcohol and all Rignard reagents, uh, reactions of Rignard reagents are uh, uh, protonated in the presence of an acid catalyst. So, when uh, protonation is done, what could happen? Uh, why is uh, ammonium chloride used in this particular reaction? That is what we are going to see next. So, what is the role of ammonium chloride? So, in these protonation reactions, we know uh, that uh, whenever uh, a ketone reacts with Rignard reagent, we get a tertiary alcohol. So, these tertiary alcohols, if they are, uh, are present along with strong acids, the acid has the ability to protonate these alcohols and as a result, it would result in an elimination product. In the uh, alcohol will eliminate to an alkene. So, or in other words, dehydration could happen. So, in order to prevent dehydration, a milder uh, reagent which is acidic is used. And that is the reason why ammonium chloride is used as a, um, a, a medium, acidic medium to hydrolyze this OMGBr bond. So, um, this is a very weak acid and it will uh, 
prevent uh, dehydration and not only that the magnesium alkoxide that is formed in the first step that is when ester is uh, reacted upon can be quenched by this reagent and not only uh, and besides that you know, we also see that this salt magnesium bromide that is formed is easily solubilized into the aqueous phase so then we can separate out the products that are obtained so ammonium chloride play, plays two major roles in this particular reaction acts as a mild acid prevents dehydration and then favors solubilizing of this magnesium bromide that is formed so that the exclusive product is obtained so now let us look at this particular question so now we know that uh, this is uh, the playing the role of a weak acid so uh, we will go back to the question so which among these will be the starting material as i said uh, in case of esters the esters will lead to the formation the alkoxy group could be removed in case of the esters so this is also the alkoxy group so in case of esters the first step the alkoxy group will be removed and in place of that alkoxy group the r group of the rignard reagent will come in so in this case it is the ch3 so these are the two group that will be formed so methyl benzoate will lead to the formation of acetophenone and uh, this uh, phenyl acetate will lead to the formation of acetone so uh, when we subject acetophenone to again uh, with the methyl magnesium bromide so you have another acetophenone which is already there so acetophenone when treated with the methyl magnesium uh, bromide will result in the formation of a tertiary alcohol so h will be here and then we have the ch3 from the rignard reagent which will add, add to the carbonyl carbon so we see acetophenone addition leads to the formation of 2 phenyl 2 propanol and so option d is one of the uh, choices and besides that a is also a choice because um, the ester leads to the formation of acetone and excess of methyl magnesium bromide will result in the formation of the desired alcohol and when coming to b and c c we know acetaldehyde acetaldehyde again will form um, a alcohol which will definitely be 2 propanol which is a secondary alcohol and uh, acetone will lead to the formation of a tertiary alcohol but uh, again this is not the desired alcohol so tertiary butyl alcohol will be formed but this is not the desired alcohol so in total we see this particular question leads to the options a and d as the correct starting materials for the formation of this particular alcohol which is called as 2 phenyl propane to all thank you